Hi, Python Strings, the minion game. Kevin and Stuart want to play the minion game. Game rules, both players are given the same string S. Both players have to make substrings using the letters of the string. Stuart has to make uh, words starting with consonants. Kevin has to make words starting with vowels. The game ends when both the players have made all possible substrings. A player gets one point for each occurrence of the substring in the string S. So we have an example here and the word is uh, banana and they have to find the substrings uh, which starts with vowels and consonants. What we will do, we will get all possible substrings S from the given string and we will count the ones that start with the vowels and assign it to Kevin and the ones with, uh, which start with the uh, consonants we will assign it to Stuart. To find all possible substrings, let me uh, write down the logic here. So let's take the example as uh, banana and for banana we have uh, six characters so we will have n is equal to six and the first substring will be the first uh, letter the second substring will be the second letter third substring will be the first second and third letter so b a n b a n a uh, b a n a n and we have P A N A N A yeah banana. So these are all the substrings um, which starts with B. Then we will decrement by uh, one and we'll start with A. So we'll have A A N A N A A N A N A N A N A. So when the n is n is equal to six, we'll have uh, six substrings. When n is equal to five, we'll have five substrings. And when n is equal to four, we have four substrings and so on. So that's the logic we are going to follow. Let's uh, code for that logic. So let me first get uh, the length of the string uh, n is equal to uh, len of string. And let me initialize a count variable and assign it to 0. Now we will loop through the length of the string for i in range of n count equal to count plus so n is equal to 6 so I'll start from n and uh, I'll decrement it by i okay so in the first uh, loop i will be 0 so the count will be count plus uh, 6 so 6 will be assigned to count on the second loop the n will be 5 so count will be 6 plus 5 which will be 11 and it will go on so let me print out the output and see the total count yeah 21 so we got uh, the total count which is uh, 12 plus 9 so all we have to do now is uh, segregate uh, these words which starts with uh, consonants and vowels. For that I will introduce a condition here. If uh, the starting string is uh, in vowels then I will increase the count of uh, Kevin. So if string of uh, i n sensitive yeah only uppercase so I'll use uppercase a e i o u then I'll increase the count of Kevin okay, so count of Kevin I'll just uh, I'll place the count variable here and initialize the count of Kevin and if not then uh, increment the count of stored so count of two count of two plus in minus i okay i will also initialize uh, count of two is equal to zero and I'll print count of uh, K 
okay when count of is two okay so let's see the result okay nine and um twelve okay so our uh, logic is uh, correct now let's uh, get the output in the uh, required format so whoever has the highest count his name and score uh, should be printed separated by a space on one line or uh, draw if there is no winner cool so i'll use another condition if uh, count of kev is greater than count of two then i'll print count of cap i'll just remove this so i need to print the name so kevin plus count of cap is a integer so i'll just type cast it to string okay if we will print for um, Stuart but before that uh, we also need one more condition for draw uh, yeah so yeah we will have that condition as well well if just copy the same and I'll just draw this to count of two, count of two, and count of uh, cap. And here I'll change the name to store. Okay, so we have a condition for greater than and less than. And final condition if both the counts are equal. So count of cap is equal to. Yeah, that's a. Uh, yeah condition so we do not need to specify that we'll print um what do we need to print draw D -R -A -W. okay uh yeah so that's it let's uh, run the code steward 12 okay there is uh, no space in between let me add a space so it passed the initial test case i'll submit the code and it passed all the test cases so that's the solution if you like the video hit the like button and if you like the content consider subscribing to the channel thank you everyone